Hey everybody, Sandy here. What I'm going to do is I've got a 35 ounce, and let me get this right, it's a Skinny Plus tumbler from Hog from the Stainless Steel Depot. And I have spray painted it just kind of splotchy with a brilliant silver and uh, a matte black. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a, a quick coat with some epoxy. And then I'm going to work in some colors. And my hopes for this, and, and I've never done this before, never done this one. Um, I don't know that anybody has done it on purpose, but my, my hopes is that um, I can get this to give me some different depths to the mica powders that I've mixed in my resin. Um, I saw what was a mishap for someone on one of the Tumblr groups that I belong to. And although she was devastated, I found it to be quite interesting. So I want to try to somewhat duplicate that. Um, the green that we're using is called Surge, and that's from the Glitter Grind. And the dark, it looks blackish silver, is called Wicked. Now I thought that was going to be a little more of a uh, copperish color, but we're going we're gonna to work with it. And then I've got Sepia. This is just a soap dye, but... That's the, the lighter brownish kind of color. Anyway, my resin is trying to set up on me. So I need to quick get this on here, and then I'm going to try a technique. Um, and I have two in mind, just in case one doesn't work. And I just want to get enough on here, and I really hope, wow, this is starting to really get warm, um, I really hope that I don't, um, I don't mess it up, but whatever happens, it's worth the experiment. And this is a big, big tumbler. Yeah, this is not, this is not, uh, it's not going to go on here easy because it is warming up and getting thick. I took a little too much time. This is Pro Marine resin, and I usually have about 45 minutes work time with it, but I know I fiddle farted around and I just want to get some on here. I probably took just a little too much time trying to get everything prepped and ready. So we're going to wish us luck. And if this doesn't, doesn't cover it, we're going to wing it with the colors because I need to get it on here. I mixed up 15 milliliters of epoxy. Pretty darn sure we're going to use it all. This is a tall drink of water. Come on. I know. I could warm it up. You see how sticky it's getting? Ugh, crud. I could warm it up and uh, maybe I'll have to. Just to get it moving around. I felt so sorry for this, this young lady who had this mishap and I'm trying to get a hold of her because I really want to insert a picture. Um, it really was comical once you thought about it, but you know, she woke up in the morning and found this mishap and we've all had those, oh my God, what happened moments with our tumblers so 
none of us are strangers to it, but it doesn't, it doesn't uh, lessen the blow nonetheless. Okay, I'm not getting any on the bottom of this, but I'm not, I'm not going to concern myself with that at this point. Okay. All right, we've got, yep, I'm going to, I'm going to change my glove because I want, I want a fun layer here. And I am just going to start drizzling this on and I don't even care where it goes. I know, everybody's freaking out. Oh my God, what the heck, what are you doing? Um, but I really want there to be a good uh, variation is what I'm looking for. If you can hear the noise outside my house, but they're cutting the um, the road up. I don't know what's going on out there, but okay. I'm hoping that's going to be enough of that. And I'm going to go right into this darker color. And I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to go back in with a gloved hand. I think I'll warm it up first, but I'm going to go in with a gloved hand. And I'm going to swirl these together somewhat. Or at least smudge them out. Who knows? I may have to go back over it again just to uh, just to get the effect that I'm looking for. I don't know. We're gonna find out together, folks. I'm cool with that. You cool with that? All right. This one is kind of a a gray green. I don't know. It's an it's an odd color. But I thought it would work well with these other two colors and with that background. It looks kind of cool the way it's sitting, doesn't it? I think it does. Yep, it glops and globs and... This is thick, thick, thick. Okay. All right, we're calling that good for now. And I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. Try to warm it up a little bit so I can get some movement out of it. See if I have anything left in here that I could drizzle on. make a, a little more of an effect. I don't know. Okay, just wiping that off because I don't like to have to clean them after. Okay, and
Okay, guys, we're back. This has had um, two other coats of epoxy on it um, after we did all the, the globs and the swirls and, and whatnot. I want you to really notice the depth that's in here. And I'm holding my uh, camera. I do apologize that it keeps going in and out of focus. Um, but I want you to see the depth. This was the splatter that I did on the paint on the base of the cup. And then I, you know, of course, you saw I, I poured the um, resin on there, the colored resin. And it had set up quite a bit. Um, and it was very thick going on. I'm going to pull you around to some other sections. I really apologize that this is not focusing well. And I'm assuming that it's because of me. I'm going to put you up on the stand and see if that doesn't help stop that. Okay, let's hope that this stops that in and out blurring that's going on. I really would like you to notice the depth that's in between what we put on with the uh, oh, stick, the silicone stick as opposed to the background of this. I thought it came out really cool. I really, really like this tumbler. I don't intend to put a decal on it just because of the amount of detail that's in this. What turned out to be, what, what turned out being an oopsie, actually, I feel like gave us a really nice effect. And I don't want to belabor this, but um, I really wanted you to see that. And the point that I would like to make from this, I want to, I want to show you that too right there. Let's see if we can get that to turn back. The point that I'd like to make is I watch a lot of different YouTubers that do tumblers. And it seems like everybody is in a rush to oh let's get this let's get this resin on here and you know then i hear that well it didn't quite turn out the way i wanted it to and i totally understand that because you know three quarters of the time i don't get what i'm looking for either but the point that i want to make is if you let your resin sit a little while to where you can still work it. I mean, you do it with the drips and everybody is so impatient to wait for it, but this was so thick that it didn't move. I had to physically swirl it around with my finger to get the design that we've got here, if you can call it a design, but it was so worth it because this stayed where I needed it to. It smoothed out. You can, you can see this is, you know, this is, I mean, it's got to have one more coat of resin on it, but it did smooth out quite a bit. And it gave it a lot of detail, a lot of depth. And I think overall some really nice visual interest. I'm going to take you back out and lift you up here because this is like I said this is a tall drink of water and I did have I've got my overhead light turned off but I'm going to flick it back on okay now I just want to turn this on the turner on and I want you to see what it looks like overall it reminds me of a jungle yeah I don't know why my turner's being a stinker there we go. Um, it reminds me of a jungle. But I love the background splatters sitting behind the outer focal points. So, lesson here. 
Don't be afraid to work with your resin, even if it's starting to set up a bit in your cup, because you're going to be able to use your heat gun to warm it up and let it move around a little bit. Um, but it's not going to push it to points where it's dripping off your cup. I was pleasantly surprised by this. I hope you are too. And I really hope that you'll exercise maybe a little more patience and do a couple other things while you're waiting for your resin to, to unbubble and degas for you. <clears throat> but, you know, take this to greater heights. I mean, this was a mistake for me, only because you know I was trying to do the the pat thing where I could pull up certain parts. And yeah, that wasn't working because the resin was too thick. But what I got from this, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I don't think I'm going to put anything on here. I feel like it... It just speaks for itself. I want you to see that detail right there. That is gorgeous. I love what that does there. It just looks kind of, I don't know, blown out and frayed. And this looks deeper and darker. And I just, I don't know. I am totally in love with this. But I hope you'll take the opportunity to give yourself some time and really try to play with something like this. I mean, the colors you can use are just endless. And all it was was mica powders in resin. I really feel like the lesson here is the more important part. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I, I hope you'll give it a try. If you got anything out of this, any of this information, I'd love it if you could give me a like. And... Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to do some really screwed up things. <laughs> and I'd love for you guys to come along for the ride. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for spending time with me. Until the next time. Toodles.